I'm going to show you how I became a data science research student with no experience and exactly how you can too. The three main things are how my classes went, the experience I got from those classes, and then exactly how I did my interview to get the position. And then maybe if you're lucky and you stick around till the end, I'll give you an ultra secret tip about how I found out about the job in the first place. So you're going to want to stick around for that. Now, up to this time when I had the interview, I had only taken a few classes that actually pertain to data science. And the first one was regression. Now in regression, you're basically fitting a model, but you have some kind of plot of data and you're fitting the best line to that data to predict into the future. Now this is a big thing because he said that as we got into the job, we would be doing a lot of modeling. So this was an area that I leaned on in the interview. Now some of the other classes that I took that pertain to this position were ANOVA, some Python experience, and a lot to deal with R. Now as the position required a lot of coding knowledge, um, I didn't necessarily have that. I took an intro to computer science class that was Python, um, and honestly, I didn't do that great. But with the knowledge that I had in R, I was able to translate that well into the Python coding language. And during the interview, he asked me a lot of questions about these classes. And I always tried to bring it back to the fact that I could deal with data and I could deal with large amounts of it. With the knowledge I had in R, I could bring something to the table that not everybody else on the team could bring. Now in R, I have not dealt with millions upon millions of observations like I do in Python, but I still had some knowledge for pre-cleaning and wrangling data that just some of the other kids did not have. So if you're looking for a similar position and they're asking you similar types of questions and you have the same experience as I do, I would lean heavily on the fact that you know how to deal with data and you know what to do and you can translate that into other coding languages. And that brings us on to the second most important thing and that is experience. Now with these classes that I took, obviously I gained a lot of experience, but what I did here was lean on my final projects that I did in those classes. The main one being a project that I did for my regression class. Now this was much more interesting to the professor that was interviewing me because this actually was an applicable skill that can be translated into the job. So what I did for this project was I took a data set from a fantasy football league in 2019, I believe. And what I did was fit a model to try to predict how accurate expert predictions are in fantasy football. Now, if you know anything about fantasy football, as you could expect, the model really didn't predict that well how accurate experts would be. But what this project did for me was teach me a little bit about cleaning data. Now in fantasy football, you have players that are maybe out for various reasons. Maybe they have an injury or they're sick. But if that's the case, they're going to be projected zero points. And obviously if they're not playing, they're not going to score any points. So I took any case where a player was injured or sick or out for other various reasons, and I just took them out of the data set completely. My thought process was that if they're going to be projected zero points and they're not playing, that's how many they're gonna score. So they might make them seem more accurate than they really are. Now you might be asking, what does this have to do with the job? Well, it has a lot to do with the job because with the vast amounts of data that we get every single day, it's important to wrangle your data and clean your data before you try to do any kind of modeling. And this was another area that I leaned on super heavily in the job interview. And that's gonna bring us on to the third area, the interview itself. Now the interview itself is probably the most important step in the process. Maybe you've already been asked questions about your experience and uh, your classes, but now you really need to sell yourself onto why you would be a good fit for the team. And after he gave me a brief description of what I would be doing on the job, I leaned heavily on what those projects were and what I did in my classes to answer his questions. With the regression project that I was talking about earlier, I leaned heavily on how I cleaned the data prior to fitting a model. But the main thing I talked about when he was asking me questions was how I knew how to clean data and deal with it once it was cleaned. After a little more back and forth, he sounded really excited about what I could bring to the table, and he said I would probably hear something within the next week. Now, obviously, I wouldn't be making this video if I hadn't gotten the job, and about a week later, he emailed me back and asked me if I was still interested. And of course, I said yes, because this is exactly what I wanted to do with my future career, and I was really excited to get started on the project. The main tip I can give you for the interview is try to relate your experience, no matter what it's in, to how it can fit the job description and how you can help out the team. Though maybe we aren't trying to predict player performance for fantasy football players, I did know how to clean data and I knew how to apply that to the specific role that I would be doing. And if you stuck around this long, it's time for the super secret tip on how I found the job in the first place. And the main thing I have for you is if you're a university student, try to get involved in as many organizations as you can. One day I received an email from the math club about a position that was opening up and that was this one. Now after looking it over, it looked like they were looking for somebody with data analytics experience and some statistics experience. And I think that's the best way if you're a university student to receive notifications for jobs like this. 
Now, if you want to know more about what it's like in the day of a life of a statistics student at Penn State, go ahead and watch this video next. And if you have any more specific questions about the job that I have, go ahead and let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching.